everyone. Welcome back to RTS and welcome back to another episode of Rearrange the Stuff. <laughs> yes, that's what we're going to talk about today. And today up on the block is specialty papers, okay? And I'm going to give you just a little quick overview of how I do mine and because I do not keep them with my other papers, okay? And so it's totally a preference of how and what you include in your specialty papers and where you put them in your space. There's no right way. There's no wrong way just your way absolutely okay so I, I got a couple questions on how i do mine and so i'm going to show that and then also too this is a good group uh the specialty group is a good category to put something that you have a lot of or that is maybe your signature design and i'll talk about that in just a minute so i wanted to uh give a, just a quick video about this and then also too i'm going to have some glare because of the foil and things like that so just bear with me on that now if you've ever watched any tiffany spalding uh challenges or organizing videos and I have this lovely lady listed below she's absolutely fabulous okay adore her and so she had always mentioned in a lot of her challenges over the years to have your specialty papers in with your other papers and I wish I had the room for that but I don't but then also too to me specialty I use in a different way as I do pattern paper so I keep mine separated but absolutely you can do it any which way you want but I do have mine separated but if you had the space I wouldn't see why not <laughs> you know you can absolutely now th these are turquoise okay and I'll talk about my groups in a minute you could just have your specialty papers this is turquoise in front of your turquoise pattern paper and you could even maybe put a little tab or divider to tell you where your specialty paper stopped and your regular pattern paper began I wish I had room for that but I don't maybe in the future down the road I could absolutely do that because in my fantasy world that's where my specialty papers would be they would be at the front of or you know at the beginning of my pattern paper this would be absolutely in the front of my turquoise or mint i don't know some of these i tell you what turquoise and mint green sometimes gets to be the same thing but say tur turquoise for example this would go in the front of that paper category okay but i would keep it separated i wouldn't have it uh filtered in with pattern paper of the turquoise color if that makes sense okay so i'm going to talk about my uh specialty papers here and what do i have included in my specialty papers and to me specialty papers include anything that's just not regular pattern pattern paper and then sometimes it depends on the treatment of the paper you have to use them in a different way you know sometimes it's not just a matter of die cutting sometimes it's a matter of hand cutting and things like that so that's why I have mines separate okay because you can see that I definitely have I have canvas in mine I have vellum and then all of these lovely jelly bean die cut papers because I don't have a silhouette or a cameo or a cricket or anything like that so this I have to buy so I put these in with my specialty papers and that is in the, you know these are all white of course and then more die cut papers look at that i got these one time at 50 cents a piece yes i stocked up yes and then again that's all those die cuts and then i have corrugated and then i have glitter and then i have foil now some of these would be considered gold but because I had so many of these, I divvied them up because there's a lot of white on here. It's half white and half gold. So when you have supplies like that, that's actually got a mark in it. You can absolutely divide it up. So I have some of these in gold and some of these in white because then you see them twice, not once. Love that. And then, of course, there's more glitter. And I will say that I would not recommend this color uh, book. Is it book or block? I say color block. But anyways, it is one of the Walmart brands. This glitter sheds like a puppy, so I would not recommend it. And that's why I kept it in the cellophane. I don't like the cellophane in my when I organize supplies, but I have to because this glitter, yeah, that's why it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap glitter. And then also, too, I have more vinyl from my old school, old school slice machine. So here's all my vinyl, okay? And so that is in all my specialty, okay? And then I do the exact same thing. And I try to put my vellum in the front because I think it gets so, um, sorry for out of frame. I think vellum can get beat up so quick. So I try to keep my vellum in the very front, okay? And of course, I just have this canvas because it's smaller. I just put that in the front. And then, of course, I do that with every color so I go from white and then I go into my ivory and then all the colors of my rainbow because I have every color represented I mean I'm looking at them right now red orange yellow green yes I have it all by rainbow and then at the end of my rainbow is my gold which is my biggest in this uh, group I have more gold than anything else and I think a lot of us would say that so here's the turquoise so of course 
uh, I have in my front, I have my corrugated, and then of course I go into some foil, and there's glitter, okay? And of course I do have some of this, I thought these were more green. Yes, like I said, turquoise and mint green are kind of hard, but it's all lovely. Yes, and then of course more foil, and I won't show all of that. Foil, 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 foil. <laughs> yes, okay? Now again, you could keep that in with your regular pattern paper in the front, you know, that way you would know where your foils are, and rather than having them intermingled throughout. But then, of course, if you have them intermingled, you would see them more often too. So there is no wrong way to do this, no. Again, more foil paper, and then here is some burlap in the back, okay? So at one time, I had every every one of these colors and I would have the corrugated then the burlap and the vellum and then of course because I've been playing with them so much this year they've kind of got out of order a little bit but maybe over the winter I'll go back to it it's not a big deal it's not a very big group so as long as it's all together by color I can see it in a quick manner okay so then what I'll do there is I will stop and each one of my colors you may go pull another color hang on I'll pull another color why not yes let's see what color shall I pull hmm Yellow. Let's see what I have in yellow. Why not? Yellow, green. How about silver? I could do silver. I'm just talking to myself over here. Lord. Gold. That's a big pile. Hey, let's pull red. Yeah, let's pull red. Okay. Why not? Okay, that was probably dead space. Sorry about that. <laughs> but, hey, it's all informal, right? So again, these are just to my left of my desk. And they're just, you know, what do I have them in? Because I got that question. I just have them in a great big photo box. So it's just a container, a box that would accommodate this 12 inches. It doesn't it doesn't go high, um, but it fits it 12 inches wide. And then I'd say it's probably about uh, 8 inches high. So my papers don't flap over too much. But then, I'll be honest with you, I have a lot in my specialty group. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty full. Okay, and But it's just a big box. I got it Tuesday morning one day, a long time ago. So of course, here's my vellum. Okay, that looks more orange. Oh, no, it's red. Oh, is it orange? No, it's red. Okay, so there's my vellum. Again, I keep that in the front. More corrugated, corrugated, and then this foil, which will blind us. Uh, there's all the foil, foil, and then again, there's more of that burlap, and then here's that glitter from Walmart, uh, which is beautiful in the ruby color. I mean, wouldn't that be beautiful for a Wizard of Oz page? Yes. <laughs> Huh, gives me an idea. Okay, I need to write that down. And then, of course, my burlap. Again, anything that's specialty. Because these, all of these papers have different treatment. And they have to be used in a different manner. Sometimes scissors are not going to go through this corrugated. And it's not going to go through the glitter. If you do, you're going to doll your scissors. So keep that in mind. Okay, and let me just give you that tip. I've said this a couple times. In your trimmers... Uh, any type of trimmer you have, keep a blade that is marked with some X's and that way you know to pull out this blade when you start using some of these papers, these specialty papers that have this coarse treatment because you will dull your blade. So use one uh, that is just for this type of paper. Okay, that's a little tip. Yes, okay. So now I will come back and I will talk about two other groups that I have along with my specialty because they're special to me. Okay, so hang on. I will be right back. Okay, so as I was putting away some of my other colors in my specialty, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to pull out my purple so you could see what I have for purple specialty because we don't have a lot of this color in anything. And so this is what I have for purple. I have some die cut sheets, and these came in um, paper pads, uh, mainly die cuts with a view. And so they are beautiful purple die cut papers. And then I have one single lonely purple foil. That's all I have. So my purple is very, very small. But again, but since it's by color, it's easy to get to. Okay, so now let's talk about what I have next in my specialty, and that would be ledgers. Okay, so after I have those, all those papers by color, then I go into my ledger because ledger and wood grain is what I have next. And that is because uh, I have a lot of them and I want to keep them separate because I use them mainly as backgrounds. So I keep them as separate. And so, of course, here is my ledger, uh, part of my ledger. I have a lot of, <laughs> a lot of ledgers and a lot of wood grains. And so then I start with my white and I go into ivory. And so you can see this is just a, 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 a group I pulled of just, this is in the front of my ledger. And of course you can tell what it is. It's just ledger and ledger and ledger. 
Yes, it's just ledger paper. Absolutely fun to do these for backgrounds, okay? And so I know years ago, the reason I started to do this was because uh, this isn't actually ledger, but I just loved it as the white to use as a background, so I just stuck it in this group. And so I noticed uh, years ago, before I started to do this, I kept trying to find where my ledgers were. And so some were in collections and some were just, I just didn't have them in a very good uh, area. So I just started a group for ledger and that's what I did. So I have them. And then of course now with my ledger, I start with my white and I go with my ivory because everything I do is in my rainbow system. Okay. And so then after that, then I would go into my colored papers that are ledger. Okay. And I'll go through that because I have them in rainbow. <laughs> yes. Okay, so after I did, now I could certainly just put these in with my other papers as far as the foil and things like that, but because I have so many, I don't want them. I want my ledgers separate from my other specialty. So of course, what I do after that white and ivory I just showed, then I go into my colors, which I have pink, and then I have my red, and then of course, see, that's a, that's a ledger, okay? These are all ledgers. This even is ledger with stitching, yes. What was that? KI Memories. Oh, yes. Beautiful. Okay. And then also, too, uh, then I went into my yellow. And then, of course, and then my turquoise and then my blue, things like that. Okay. And then now there are some, like, school-type paper. That's from uh, Jilly Bean Soup. So, again, in my ledger, I do the same thing. I do my rainbow system. Yes. Okay. Now, after my ledger papers, I have one more group, and that would be my wood grain my lovely <laughs> lovely wood grain now in wood grain i also throw in my brick and that's just something i added in the last couple years in my wood grain because i noticed i was buying a lot more brick papers so brick and wood grain that all goes together for me so i just put them all together and again what do i do in this group i have them by rainbow color so again i start with my white and there's white brick and then also too Marble is something that we're starting to get a lot of. And so sometimes when I'm looking for a marble piece of paper, I don't know where to go. So I threw a couple in this category too. But if you're someone that has a lot of marble papers, or maybe there's just a certain type of a paper you want, there's nothing wrong with starting your own category. Yes, like I did with my wood grain. But in my wood grain, I also threw in my brick. I have a few pieces of marble, okay? And then of course, there's a wood grain. And then of course, it just follows that rainbow. So there's red. There's my red brick, and then there's more brick, more red wood grain, and then I just follow along with my colors. There's orange, and then we get into yellow, and I just pulled a few samples so you could see what I was talking about, and then I get into my jade green, mid green, turquoise, and then we get into the actual wood grain part, and we get into the browns, and this is the color that I have a lot more in, and so that I definitely went by rainbow system again in my wood grain, and so then in my brown, I went from light to dark. And this is just a few papers I pulled so you could see the gradient of color. So I go from light and then I go into dark. Okay, and there's even more dark. <laughs> yes, okay, and then dark, dark. Okay, and that's still brown to me. Okay, and that's the darkest wood green I have. And that is by Cartabella. Love that paper. And this was the Fall Blessing line. But that is a serious dark wood grain oh lovely paperweight too and then after the brown then i go into my gray okay there's my gray wood grains and brick okay and then after that guess what there's more gray okay see see how i go from light to dark it's just easier for me than rather pull out my whole group of wood grain i have a by color and then in my shades and then i get into actually black wood grain i absolutely have black wood grain okay now where would you find black wood grain i will tell you a lot of times you'll find that in halloween collections i don't buy halloween collections but that's where i can find my black wood grain and a lot of companies don't come out with that anymore but if you see it uh this is actually a, a concrete black brick wall I'll put that in there this is by authentique that was 2015 and so if anybody wanted to know it's from the devoted collection that is a black wood grain and then this came again that's a halloween collection my mind's eye and that's from the frightful yes spooky and so that's where you'll see some black wood grain is in your Halloween collection. So I hope that gave a little bit of idea of how I have my specialty papers. So, you know, I have them in by rainbow. 
And then after my rainbow, I went into my ledgers, which I have that subcategories as color. And then I went into my wood grain, which I had brick and I had marble. Anything you want to do as far as your papers, it's how you want to reference them, how you want to access them, and more importantly, how you use them when it comes to working on your layouts and your projects. So I hope that gave a little bit of a glimpse into how I do my specialty group. And if you have any questions, just list it below. And that is... <laughs> I love this group. <laughs> yes, I, I, after my pattern paper, I, I wouldn't do any. I would not uh, give this up for anything. No, no, because you put a little bit of you know you put a little bit of time and gathering this, and then you put a lot of money into it. So that's why I keep them in a special group because sometimes specialty papers now are up to a dollar ninety nine to a dollar uh, two nineteen a sheet, and so I'm kind of getting out of paying that much for a sheet, but I have, and so I keep them in a separate group. So okay, I hope that helped, and I hope that's not too much rambling about. Special specialty papers and if you have a certain way that you organize your specialty papers please share below because one idea from one person can spark an idea for many people okay so please share below and come back to RTS because you never know what we're gonna learn bye <laughs>